Hi and welcome back to the AQA GCSE History Elizabeth I Division Series. This is episode 13 and we're looking at the Puritan threat. The Puritans were committed Protestants. For them the religious settlement of 1559 was only the first step in purifying the Church of England. They wanted further reforms that would make the Church more Protestant. They were strongly anti-Catholic and wanted to remove all traces of Catholicism from the church. They believed that preaching was very important. The thought that all priests should be well educated so they be able to preach was also important. At the time, this was unusual. Many priests lacked education and didn't preach at all. The Puritans also encouraged the education of ordinary people so that they would be able to read and understand the Bible for themselves. There were very strict rules about godly living. Some Puritans were even more radical. They wanted to remove the church's hierarchy of the archbishops than the bishops, but this was seen as a threat directly towards Elizabeth because it called her into the question of her authority as supreme governor of the church and the head of the hierarchy. Due to the worry about the priests being uneducated, in the 1570s Puritans introduced prophesying, a kind of teaching and training for priests on how to preach. Elizabeth believed that the prophesying would encourage more Puritan opposition to the religious settlement. In 1576, she ordered the Archbishop of Canterbury, Edmund Grindle, to put a stop to them. Grindle thought that the prophesyings were good for the church, so he refused to obey Elizabeth's order. This made Elizabeth furious. She suspended Grindle and put him under house arrest. In 1583, Grindle died and Elizabeth made John Whitgift Archbishop of Canterbury. With Elizabeth's support, Whitgift launched an attack on Puritan clergy. All priests had to accept the regulations of the Church of England or face suspension. Between 200 and 300 Puritan priests were suspended. Whitgift's campaign made some Puritans feel like there was no hope for reforming the Church of England. Instead, they decided to break away and form a separate church. These Puritan separatists were a major threat to the religious settlement. The government introduced censorship laws to prevent them from spreading their ideas, and in 1590 several of their leaders were arrested. The threat from Puritan separatists probably wasn't as serious as Elizabeth and her government thought. There weren't many separatists, and they didn't have the support of many powerful members of the elite anyway. Most Puritans were moderates who worked within the Church of England. So that's the end of episode 13 of the AQA GCSE History Elizabeth I Revision Series. Next episode we're looking at the war with Spain. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.